Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the amount of work that it takes to empty a tank of water. So we're given a tank that is full of water, and the problem wants us to calculate the amount of work required to empty this tank. The first step is to put the x and y axis looking like this, where this direction is the positive direction for the y axis. So we know that our tank is 8 feet tall because the height is 8 feet. So that's why this point is 0 and this point will be positive 8. We also know that the radius of the top circle is 6 feet, so the distance from here to here is 6 feet, and the distance from here to here is 3 feet. To empty this tank, all we have to do is move every layer of water like this one. So there are many layers of water here. So we're going to move each layer of water to the top of the tank. And the distance from the origin to our layer of water is called y. To calculate the work, all you have to do is use this formula. w, or the work, is equal to the integral from the top to the bottom of density times distance times area. So what is the top and what's the bottom? Well, as mentioned before, we want to empty this tank from 0 to 8, right? So the bottom will be 8, and the top will be 0. How about the density? Well, according to this table, if the tank is measured in feet, in which case it does, then we need to use the density, which is 62.5, because the length is in feet. The density will be 62.5. The distance that we're pulling each layer of water is y, because we're pulling it to the top. So the distance will simply be y. Last but not least, we need to find the area. So this area is referring to our layer of water right here. So since our layer of water is a circle, the area of this layer of water is equal to pi times the radius to the power of 2. And the radius from here to here is x. So instead of writing r, I'm going to write it in terms of x. Since our formula is dy, we have to convert the x into the y. And let me show you how to do that. So if you look here, this is a line, right? So you can use the formula of a line to find y. We know that this point right here will be 6, 0. Because the distance from here to here is 6, right? And the height is 0, so therefore it will be 6, 0. Now how about on this line, how about this point right here? Well, this point will be 3, 8. So this point will be 3, 8. And why is it 3, 8? Well, because the distance from here to here is 3, and the height is 8. Now notice that 8 is a positive number because we're saying that the positive y direction is right here. So let's write out our two points. We have 6, 0, and we also have 3, 8. The slope, m, will be the same as 8 minus 0 divided by 3 minus 6. This is the same as 8 divided by negative 3. So putting this into our point slope formula, we get y, which is the variable that we're looking for, is equal to negative 8 over 3 times x plus b. Now all we have to do is substitute in one of these two points. Let's put in this one. So y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 6. So this will be negative 8 over 3 times 6 plus b. And negative 8 over 3 times 6 is equal to negative 16. So therefore, b is equal to 16. And let's delete this b and write in 16. So here is our equation. y is equal to negative 8 over 3 times x plus 16. Now let's solve for x. We subtract both sides by 16, so we get y minus 16 is equal to negative 8 over 3x. And then we multiply both sides by negative 3 over 8. 
So we get x is equal to negative 3 over 8 times y minus 16. So we finally found x. And we can substitute this right here into our x squared in order to find the area. So the area is equal to pi times x to the power of 2. And we know that x is equal to this expression right here, which is negative 3 over 8 times y minus 16, close the bracket, and to the power of 2. This is equal to pi times 9 over 64. So 9 over 64 times y minus 16 to the power of 2. And this is the same as 9 over 64 times pi times y minus 16 to the power of 2. Now that we found the area, let's go ahead and put it into our formula. We are almost done. The last step is to evaluate this integral. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 8 times 62.5 times 9 over 64 pi times y times y minus 16 to the power of 2 dy. And since these numbers right here are constants, we can move it outside of the integral as well. So this is equal to 62.5 times 9 over 64 pi times the integral from 0 to 8 times y times y minus 16 to the power of 2 dy. Now, what is y minus 16 to the power of 2? It is the same as y squared minus 32y plus 256 dy. And now all we have to do is multiply each term with y, like this. we will get y to the power of 3 minus 32y to the power of 2 plus 256 times y dy. Now, after you find the antiderivative of this expression and then plug in the limit from 0 to 8, you will get the answer, which is 10, 3, 6, 7, 2, point five five seven six. So that's what I get after evaluating this integral. And you can approximate this into 1.04 times 10 to the power of 5 feet pound. Because the unit here is feet pound according to our table. And so this here is the answer and also the amount of work that it takes to empty this tank.